Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob here, moreguitars.com. I'm Rob. Okay. Hey guys, this is Rob. I'm Shane. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. And today I wanted to uh, talk with Rob and uh, we're going to explain a little bit about this orangish reddish. The awesomeness <laughs> that is private stock and this guitar. That's right. Don't look at it. It's too cool. Don't look at it. Yeah. And I have a 594 and he has a 594, but we're gonna talk a little bit today about the differences in his guitar versus the one I'm holding and a little bit about the uh, PRS private stock team. Rob. Yeah, so we took what was already a real vintage vibe guitar, the single cut 594 and made it even vintage -ier. Like longer vintage -ier? No, no, it's, it's the same length, but it's vintage -ier. <laughs> Okay. Older, you mean? Vintage year. Okay, that's not a word. Coining that word. Okay. Now, yeah. So what we did was we gave it kind of a real um, retro look with the uh, the wide flame and the burst finish. This is a nitro finish that's been aged what or relic. Well, it's it's checking. It's finished checking is what okay. it's called, and it looks old, um, but it's not old. But it looks old. Okay. Um, and it, it kind of pre like I said earlier, this guitar comes preloaded with mojo. We've we put the mojo in, comes free with the guitar. Free. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, this guitar um, plays like a dream. It's got the um, pattern vintage neck, which I'm yep. used to um, uh, pattern, pattern thin. I like pattern thin too. Um, but I'm really digging this. I, I think I could like switch over to this. This is so really I'm cool. noticing some difference with the birds. Um, yeah. So this is like I said, we we wanted to give this guitar a very kind of familiar, old vintage look to it. You'll notice the block inlays with the birds in the center. It almost looks like it's reversed. Like instead of stamping out the block, like the birds, they mm -hmm. they yeah yeah. Well, yeah. that's cool. It's kind of like but, we, an older but we've version. also put kind of some more music signature touches onto this guitar too. This is the, the exclusive more music private stock eagle on the headstock with the the uh, 12th fret eagle skunk stripe on the back of the neck. The eagle right here? Eagle. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Tell us a little bit about your guitar. You just give me a second. This thing is so good. You just have to look at it for one second. I've, see, I've looked at I looked at it this morning. Where did I see this guitar at? Okay. Do you have a private stock calendar? I do in my okay. office. I have yes. one too in my okay. office. So have you already changed it over to May? Yeah, today's May 1st. Okay, this is the guitar. That's the like May guitar. The okay. the guitar. Yeah. Okay. So this guitar. Not, not a guitar like this. This That's the guitar photographed in, like this guitar in the calendar. Literally. 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 Yes. <laughs> so the it's guitar. It's very exquisite. I'm going to hit you with this. The guitar pictured. For the private stock calendar for May, it's this actually one. this guitar. Nice. Yes. Okay. This guitar is a 594 double cut. It features the two-piece bridge that you find on I have that. every single 594, yeah. unless you have a private stock built and you want to trim. But for these two guitars, can 98, yeah, you can. Yeah. Nice. But 98% of the other guitars that are 594s, you're going to have two-piece bridge. Cool. You and I share the exact same pickups, 5815LT. Yes. yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, They're very creamy. Creamy. That's, that's a nice word to describe yes. pickups. Yep. I like that word. Uh, the back of this guitar is swamp ash, and the neck is curly maple, mm -hmm. which this is all private stock grade wood. Yeah. I mean, the which neck That's where is, they, they keep like the best of the best is like set aside for private it's stock. It's in a right? vault. Yeah. And you have two people with lab coats and they both have two different keys. <laughs> you got a retina scan to get in, yeah. right? Yeah, and you got to put your thumbprint on there and you got to get in the vault. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, this is all private stock grade quality stuff. I mean, this is, you know, the F hole in this guitar is, is very unique. Yeah. Because you don't find an F hole. So these are, these are really just two great examples of what you can do from, from, as a consumer with the private stock division at PRS is you can take a base model 
a 594, an SC 594, custom 24, whatever you want, and kind of put your own stamp on it. Um, you get to, you know, you can, they've, they've got all this special wood, and of course, you know, some people have the luxury of actually visiting the factory and being able to pick out the yeah. wood. You may not have that luxury, but we can help you with that along with the right. folks at Private Stock. Yep. We can send you pictures. You know, we can kind of give the, the folks at the, where, at the factory kind of an idea of what you're looking for. They'll go find it, send you pictures, let you pick, that kind of thing. But it really allows you to customize, um, put your own stamp on a Paul Reed Smith guitar and really make it your own. And that's kind of the fun thing yep. about our job is we get to go to the factory and kind of build out our own kind of fantasies yeah. and stuff like this, but we get to help customers do the same Man, thing. And it's just, this thing is just great. Would you say it's exquisite? It's exquisite. <laughs> it's exquisite. Yes. But, um, but yeah, so you and I have the same style. 594s. They're single, same but different. Single very, cut, yeah. double cut. Yeah. Same neck profile, mm -hmm. same pickups. Yeah. Same bridge. Yeah, thicker body though on this guitar. Except for you have different specs when it comes to like the woods. You have the woods, you have the mahogany finish. in the back of yours, mahogany. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Big, big chunk of it. Yeah. Yeah. And the neck looks figured mahogany. Yes. Yeah. Which that's really amazing. It almost looks like maple, but it's definitely yeah. not. There's so many things you can do within PRS's private stock. Right. Um, if you have, if, you know, some ideas on, on a guitar that you'd like to, to co-design with, with us and with the uh, private stock division at PRS, we'd love to help you. We'll walk you through every step. We'll make it nice and easy and, and painless and enjoyable, which is that's what it should be. You're building a, designing a, a cool guitar or something like this. It should be a lot of fun, and we'll, we'll help it be a lot of fun. It won't be a hassle at all. Yeah, there's a lot of people... A lot of people that I've helped, at least, that, that have mentioned that they want to build a guitar that's kind of like their end-all, be-all. Like, they want to decide the specs. They want to put the time and effort and money into yeah, it. Yeah. And it's kind of like a piece of artwork and a musical instrument. Right. And if you wanted to put it on the wall and stare at it all day long, you could. But Paul himself says every guitar that we build should be played. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if you wanted to hang it on the wall and be like, wow, that's a great piece of art, or if you gig... Just you invite could, me over to play it once in a while. Right? You could still gig these things. Yeah, you know it's just crazy. You know, crazy awesome artwork and it's musical instruments that sound great. It's a and lot, and it of comes fun. from a separate team at PRS to build these. Yeah, I mean it's 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 this. They don't run this through the 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 line, so to speak, at, yeah. at PRS. It's a it's a separate group of of folks. It's a separate space within the factory. Uh, it's a separate group of folks that are that are just building these guitars to spec. Um, it's really cool. I, I enjoy um, looking at the private stock guitars. I really enjoy working with customers on designing them. It's a lot yeah. of fun. It's it's rewarding. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, these are the kind of guitars that you could pass down to your son or your daughter and kind of keep in the family. Or have featured in a calendar. Yeah. If you have any questions about PRS, private stock, or anything Paul Reed Smith, we're your guys. This is Shane. I'm Rob. We're here at More Music in Evansville, Indiana, and of course, moreguitars.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Leave your questions and comments below, or you give us a call, send us an email, chat with us on the website. We're very accessible. We want to talk to you. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, before you leave, I just want you to look at it. It's exquisite. I just want you to look at it. Just look at it. That's it. Just look at it. Can you All right, see I'm it? done. Yeah, look All at right. it. All right.